$40 blind yard sale box. I say blind, but you can see a couple things here. This box, I have no idea what's in the bottom. I do know there's an Xbox, as you can see here, because it was sitting on top. So for 40 bucks, got this box of games, peripherals. So starting off, original Xbox with what I believe is the DVD uh, IR remote. Is that what it is, Colton? My cameraman knows he has one. So Xbox alone, is it worth the 40 bucks? Part of it for that, let's see. A stack of PS2 games right on top here. Let's see. Tony Hawk's Underground 2. 2005 NCAA. Oh. My favorite. Not. World Championship Poker. PBR Bull Riding. And, ooh, iToy. That means you need a USB camera for the PlayStation 2 to play that one, which maybe it's in this box. Enter the Matrix. Jack and Daxter, The Sims. So just alone, for a couple bucks each, we've already got the money's worth. But what I see in here now is controllers. The Duke, the original, the Xbox. Now, this is pretty dusty, but these have been stored for a while, I think. And these alone, I, I've actually just bought two of these at a at a local game store here, they're 10 bucks each. So I've got one, two, three, an aftermarket one. Four, so four Xbox controllers. Oh wow, okay. Off-Road Fury, and then just a stack. Game, more games, Hurdy Gurdy. My second favorite game of all time, next to Sing Star. MLB Slugfest. Oh, a classic, Gran Turismo 3. I spent so much time playing this game. I like that Dodge Viper. Whoever owned this was a musician, apparently, because I got American Idol, Sing Star. I'm waiting for Rock Band. Oh, I spoke too soon. Guitar Hero. Oh, we got Venus and Serena here. Going strong back in the PS2 days. Max Payne, I bought this with a buddy. We bought it in Hastings together. This game is not co-op, but we literally played it side by side at the same time. So we turned a single player game into a co-op game. Shrek Super Slam. Grab your friends and have a brawl. One to four players. Must be like the Super Smash Bros knockoff. I've never played it. And NCAA March Madness 2003. So, okay, so lots of sports games. So this is cool. Okay, I did see when I grabbed the box originally, I did see the top of what I thought was a Nintendo 64, and it is. N64, missing all the stuff in the back, hopefully I'll find that in here. Um, super dirty, super dusty, but I think we can clean that up. Doesn't have the expansion pack, just the original jumper. Wow, there's some cool stuff in here. Okay. PS2 controller. This thing's seen better days, but there it's missing a little rubber on the top. That's one the kids can use. Wow, okay, this is cool. Nintendo games. Stack of them in here. Let's see if we have any kind of classics. We have Mickey, Mickey Mouse to pay. Uh, not on my bucket list of games to play yet. Wizard and Warriors 3. Volleyball, but here's the one, Metroid, that's pretty cool, the original Metroid. There's more. The Golden Bear himself, Jack Nicholas Golf. And Tombs and Treasures, Tombs and Treasure. It's kind of interesting, it has the original sticker for Super Safe Drugs. On Francis in Spokane, Washington. I have lived in Spokane for quite a while. I've never heard of that place. That's pretty old. Okay. PlayStation 1 games now. We got Driver. 
Croc, and Supercross. We have an array of systems spanning multiple generations in this box. Blazing Dragons, starting the voices of Terry Jones and Cheech, there, to Cheech, Cheech and Chong, I believe. Okay. PS1. Croc's in there, so that must have been his favorite game. So Croc's in there. I haven't tested any of these out, like I said, I just got this right now, the yard sale pick. I got it this weekend, but just had a chance to open it right now, so I've not looked at it, and I have no idea if any of these systems work, so that'll be the next test. But as of now, it's cool just to unbox this stuff. Vegas Stakes. Um, someone has a gambling problem. John Madden Football. This just says John Madden Football. I'm not sure. This might be the original John Madden Football, actually. I know it came out on the Super Nintendo, so the original. Zombies Ate My Neighbors, a cult classic. Good game, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Again, a lot of these games are just dusty, so I need to get some, some alcohol swap or something. Uh, they even threw in, let's see here. We have Star Fox. 1983 Star Fox for, I believe, the Atari 2600, but can't remember exactly which. I think it's 2600. Is it Atari in here? I don't see one. Okay. PS2. Pretty cool. The original Fat Boy version. Hope it works. The fan is uh, covered in dust. Wow, not even just one. There's a second PS2 here. Another PS2. So two PlayStation 2s. Yeah, I mean, they're just dusty, but they're in good. I mean, this one's missing the CD bay, but if it opens and works, that's all that matters. This one looks to be in pretty good shape, so we'll see here. Okay, here's kind of a fun little peripheral. So I can get my friends over, we can play that Shrek Superstar Smash. Got the PS2 multi, it's fat. So. You can play four players on your PS2. I do not have one of these, so that's kind of a fun little, that's actually a cool pickup. Oh, here we go. Mystery Quest. Made in Japan. I don't know about Mystery Quest. I'll have to check it out. That's pretty cool. I've never even heard of the game, so I'll have to do some research on these. But another NES game. And it looks like I got some cords and... Let's see what else I got in here. All right, this one's exciting. This one's fun. I hope this one works. Regular Nintendo. So he's got the system. Nothing in there. Actually, not dusty. Not too bad in there. So this one might actually be, might be working just fine. Hopefully, I got the connections for it. I think this must have been in a storage container or something because it just looks like it's been sitting somewhere for years. Another controller. This one's for the Super Nintendo, it looks like. The aftermarket. It's a touch controller on the, the D-pad's a touch D-pad, which I've never played anything like that, but I have no idea if it works or not, but. More PS2 peripherals. Wireless controllers. Uh, more just regular controllers, so definitely got my PS2 fix. I actually just bought a bunch of PS2 controllers and Xbox controllers like a month ago, so this would have been nice. And then I believe most of the cords are in here. The Page Master. Never played the Page Master, so we'll see uh, how that one is. And then last, oh, there we go. One last little. Ooh, got the Game Boy Color. Missing the back, but nothing a little bit of scotch tape or duct tape can't fix. No game in there. And then just a bunch of connectors. So I imagine that most of the connections are right here. Got the RF cables, got a adapter for the controller. So I believe the rest of the stuff in this box is just going to be connections. Uh, I did get, for Nintendo Wii, Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. Oh, and Caesar's Palace for the... PlayStation. So, and then last we have PlayStation, Tiny Toons, and the Great Beanstalk. So, that wraps it up, guys.
Thanks for joining me. I got a lot of cool stuff. I think it was well worth 40 bucks. There was a ton of stuff in here and uh, a little bit of elbow grease. And I think we'll shine these bad boys up.